Let's be real, we love Tom Holland's Spider-Man because of Tom Holland's perfectly balanced performance, his fit in the vast MCU, and most importantly, his youth. We first love Tom Holland's Spider-Man because of Tom Holland's perfectly balanced performance as Spider-Man and Peter Parker, balancing the dorky and confident sides of Peter Parker and Spider-Man. You can really see how perfect Tom is in this role and how well he fits. Tom's charm can be felt throughout his lighthearted quips when he's Spider-Man, and he tastefully handles himself in the comedy department, but his dorkiness can be felt when he's interacting with other people. You can tell that how awkward this guy is sometimes, and it there's a lot of dorky fun with Tom Holland's Peter Parker, and it really makes the dorkiness feel very authentic, especially to me, because he feels like a kid my age, and a kid that I would interact with in high school. Even if Tom Holland is pushing 30 years old, holy fuck, man, you're old. And while Tom Holland's very good at being very lighthearted and dorky, he handles the serious moments very well. He really kills it. And that's why I believe Tom Holland's performance is the perfect balance. We then love Tom Holland's Spider-Man because of his fit in the MCU. It's a very refreshing take on a live-action Spider-Man film. It's very refreshing to see a, a film Spider-Man interact with other heroes in the universe, especially in New York, where most of the MCU is. It's really fun to see Spider-Man interact with Iron Man, Captain America, and most of the other Avengers. He even interacted with my favorite character in the MCU, Matt Murdock. It's just really fun to see all of these dynamics interplay and weave in there. We didn't think these dynamics would be even possible back in the day with Garfield Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, but here it is now, and I honestly think we take it for granted. It really makes Tom Holland Spider-Man stand out from the other two, which is why we love Tom Holland Spider-Man because of his fit in the MCU. We finally love Tom Holland Spidey because of his youth. Sure, Tom Holland might be pushing 30 soon, but he still looks very young, and Zendaya is keeping him young. Good job, Zendaya. We love you for that. With this youth and youthful energy, it really brings a lot of promise and potential here. Because Tom really feels like he can be young enough to be a college student. He looks like it, and he really gives that energy to him. Which makes his upcoming trilogy look really promising and really filled with potential. And with that potential brings excitement, because now we get to see this Spider-Man grow in a different way than these other two Spider-Man have. Especially since I believe Tom Holland has the potential to be the definitive live-action version of Spider-Man yet. And yeah, won't lie, there's flaws to Tom Holland's body, because he isn't perfect. Some may say his films aren't the most well-crafted, especially with the surface-level supporting cast, who don't offer that much depth, and they're honestly not that memorable. And others may say his iteration of Spidey is over-reliant on the MCU crossovers, especially with Iron Man. Of course, leading to the belief that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is an Iron Boy Jr. instead, because he's an absolute joke as Spider-Man, thus not a valid version of Spider-Man. Which, fuck that Iron Boy Jr. shit. That don't even make any sense. That's a living contradiction in itself. Who didn't even thought of that? That makes sense. What the fuck? And the main flaw in that argument is because Tom Holland Spider-Man is his own hero. And yes, he interacts with all these characters. But at the end of the day, especially around No Way Home, he realizes he has to be his own man and not rely on these other fuckers. And that's what makes him so interesting to me. It's a really fun take on Spider-Man. So yeah, overall, let's be real here. We love our favorite youngest child, Tom Holland Spider-Man. Because of Tom Holland's perfectly balanced performance, his fit in the vast MCU, and his youth that brings tons of potential. And with Tom being filled with youth, even though he's pushing 30 years old, holy fuck you're old buddy, it really allows us to see a far more promising side to the MCU's future, with Spider-Man leading the way. Which I for one absolutely love the idea, as much as I love Tom Holland Spider-Man.